Hey guys, uh, about last night's dream was really heavy. Still stuck in my head. But I got some more information. I went through, I went through the dream again. I asked Grace a bunch of questions and stuff like that. So, the first part of the dream, where the core samples were, that's me digging down. Digging down into the ancient past, finding the skeleton of the T-Rex. T-Rex represents the ancient past. Okay. So I'm digging down to the ancient past to find what? Right? To find what? The, the, the uh, entities or whatever they are. The camera's flickering. Anyway. So we... we that was represented in the dream and what and now the second part of the dream is Tom comes and I'm supposed to get these monsters off his back which I'll do no problem I actually kind of like it it's revenge for all the shit they pulled on me but the entities okay the entities are like the music industry in Hollywood these are the things that own your ass when you uh, Become a big shot in the music industry in and Hollywood. That's what you get. And you're a little slave bitch to these entities and to the people that run the show down there. <coughs> Tom wouldn't do that. I know that. So I know he's not a slave bitch, and these things are trying to ruin his life, probably get him killed, and they're driving him nuts, right? That I know. <laughs> I know what it's like to be driven nuts by these things. Now I don't think, and they were like uh, the archon that I dealt with. It wasn't a black mass in human form. Okay, it was more like a bubble, an intelligent bubble that could take different shapes and take shapes of Christ, take shapes of anything it wanted to. So, who, what do I know, right? I'm just going by the symbolic representation of these things in a dream. The jet, when the jet flew by, that was a distraction, clearly. That was a distraction of America, North America. Party, 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 right? Fireworks, jets, big distractions going on, ev which represents everything's a fucking distraction. Everything on the TV is a distraction from what's going on in your life. One day you wake up and you're like, "What the hell's, what the hell's staring in my face every night?" And you have that. I wasn't. I saw the jets. My feelings led me to something that this. This is a distraction. Something else is going on. I wait. I don't join in the party. And then over to the left, here they come. And I went and killed one of them, at least. I wanted to do all four when I woke up. But I told, I was telling Tom and the other guys, this is how you kill them. I hope, I hope I got through. I hope, I hope there's so much out there. Especially if you're not aware of stuff like this and how it is now. Was Tom actually there? I asked Christ, was Tom there? He goes, you tell me. And it's all about me being a Christ now, okay? So my problem is, and what this dream was teaching me is, what happens in the physical world and what happens in the spirit world with these artists, okay? They get owned and basically push the agenda the liberal agenda or whatever agenda Pedoph pedophilia satanism push it we're gonna market it we're gonna put it out for you guys you push it if you say anything different no more good and stuff for you or they demote you then you gotta go have butt sex with whoever to get back up to the top like uh, what's her name there Winfrey Oprah that's what Oprah does. She's the queen of the shit pile. So, 
if you do something wrong, you go back to the bottom. You don't want to be at the bottom. You got to go to Oprah. Then you got to get your punishment, and she decides where you belong, if you're back in the club or not. Okay, that's just one example of how it works. Slayer didn't do any of that. Okay? The band Slayer. I don't think so anyway. I mean, they get drunk and party and do stupid shit all the time. Everybody does. I did. And they're still they're still ripping it up, tearing it up. Okay? I think it's their final tour just happened. I don't know. But anyway... They didn't do it, so they got these archons fucking on them, constantly. Somebody put these demons on them, and they're driving the band nuts. Okay, so did Christ set this up for me to learn? He says, not Christ the individual guy, but Christ consciousness sets it all up. The big hole of Christ sets it all up for you to take care of. Now, since I'm a fan of Slayer, and I know Slayer, and Christ Consciousness knows I like Slayer, the band, and the music, he, Christ Consciousness, will bring us two together to help each other out. You make music, Rich likes it, Rich knows this subject, killing fucking demons, we'll, we'll hook them up, bring them together. That's how Christ Consciousness works in the big scheme of things takes care of it that's how it works so Tom Orea and all his buddies come see me in the dream and I take care of their demon problem and I get to meet them it's something I've always wanted to do I saw them on stage a bunch of times but I never got to meet them or hug them you know that type of thing and it was a reoccurring dream so it happened a month ago too but I don't remember it when I woke up and yeah that's how it works man that's Christ consciousness right there it just happens magic right not magic in the sense of levitating fucking pieces of junk like all the Hollywood stars ma magicians do or making your girlfriend's torso fall off or a tongue coming out your ear. Not that bullshit. I mean, God magic. Christ consciousness magic. So, so basically, that's what happened. Whatever I need to learn, Christ consciousness will give me to learn. He'll give me a scenario to work it out. Now, the Christ that works within Christ consciousness taking care of me and other millions of other Christians all over the planet or people that are with Christ, not necessarily in religion, happens the same thing. And it's all big family. And whoever needs help, he'll get that he'll get person, a special person like me, to go help. And uh, you know, vice versa, all over. Millions and billions of people. Dead and alive. Okay? So this is how it works. In the physical world and in the spirit world. In the spirit world it's a lot faster because it's right. The physical takes a little bit more time, but sometimes it don't. Sometimes the spirit world comes and takes over the physical world, and you're flying down the highway driving your car, and another car don't stop for that sign. That car will go right through your car and keep on going. You both skid off the side of the road and look at each other like, did that just happen? We just went through each other's car. No one ever talks about it. Be on your way. Bye-bye. How many times that happens? I have a friend that happened to you twice. Yeah, so there you go. That shit happens all the time. But no one ever talks about it. Just sweep that one under the rug, keep it quiet. <laughs> I've had experiences like that too. Not where another car went through your car. But it happens all the time. But you don't see it. You it don't happen until the exact second anyway on story so I, I was thinking at first the black the black forms were 
like uh, your personal garbage dump, right? Your personal garbage dump that's a forum. So if people who have like see the dark shadows and the black masses that loom over in your in your house, they come looming at you, sort of like they're gonna attack you, and then they back away out the door. Shapeless big black mass. Those are garbage from people, bad people. So you take a person who has lots of garbage and he's always dumping it, it forms a big black mass. Well, he shed all his garbage. That thing still remains in the apartment, and that's what you're seeing. It's quasi smart. That's what these things look like to me, right? But a little more informed. And these things were like programmed, or, yeah, they were programmed, because I thought they were robots, but they weren't ro robots. So they were programmed by a witch. Call it a witch. Call it executive of CBS, or whatever. CBS gets a witch, or one of these big fucking producing companies, they get a witch, get Tom, get the band, I want him out of the picture, they're taking all the money. He makes a bunch of voodoo doll fucking things, takes all the garbage energy, programs it, go get Tom Araya. Right? So, this thing's driving Tom to fucking drink, driving him to fucking suicide, and he can't get rid of him. If he's Christian, if he's Christ, and he felt he felt humble and innocent when I was hugging him, so why not? You, uh, Christ conscious goes rich, needs some help here. I dreamt it. I learned from it. Now the gold tablet, okay? The gold tablet. I asked Christ about that. He started crying. I go, what the hell was the gold tablet? And he started crying. I'm like, what are you crying about? What? What? Tell me. And he goes, that's. Christ consciousness, how to deal with the situation. Now, what I did wrong was I got angry and beat the shit out of it and smashed his head in, right? With a crowbar, thinking I'm like the Half-Life guy from uh, playing Half-Life. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway, so, but what I should have done was just open my heart with Christ. Compassion. He told me this after I went back to sleep. Open my heart reach out, stick my hand on it, and just kill it, right, like that. Just, just kill it with crazy consciousness. Okay, and you, that's how you kill these things. You just open your heart, no violence, no nothing, just neutral, let Christ take care of it. And it'll fucking turn it to dust. And that's what I should have done. But I went, I went Slayer on it. <laughs> I can't help it. It feels so good. <laughs> right? Anyway, so that's my, what I got to learn. And, and the whole time as I go, I am, I wake up and I'm afraid of this fucking thing. There's kids farting on me. There's an invisible puncher guy punching me all the time. Now I'm thinking, is Christ giving me these tests to, to teach me? And it's leading to that. But I'm also being attacked, right? And it's too orchestrated to not you know, I don't understand. But anyway, what I'm supposed to do is, but the thing, the thing is, these things will fart and run, or they'll punch me and run, and I can't see them. So what do I do? How do I deal with that? Even if I am Christ, a Christ, how am I supposed to deal with that? It didn't bother me none. I asked for help from Christ. That's what I did. But uh, in my mind, I'm asking the guy, Christ, that's helping me. The entity of one of the entities, of not entity, but person, persons. Another person that's a Christ like me. But he's better at it. So I'm asking him. He goes, don't ask me no more. You're Christ. Ask Christ for help. Christ consciousness. I'll take care of it. Or if you're involved with it and you got to deal with it. Deal with it. Just open your heart and love it. And it'll go away. Or you, then you can kill it or it'll go away if it's a sentient entity. Like a spirit. Like a personal spirit. Either way, Craze will take care of it because he knows how to deal with it. You don't even have to think about it. Just open your fucking heart. But in the entities, I, uh, the entity, I could have killed it just by reaching out and touching it. Instead, I reached out and bashed his head in. Where I could have just grabbed it, grabbed it by the shoulders, as it's gnawing on my head, 
open my heart and it'll go <clears throat> ah! dissolve like the the evil witch on uh what the hell is that called with the tornado Dorothy and all that yeah so you know they got that right that part anyway the Wizard of Oz yeah that's a, I'm melting melting that one that's basically what happens when Christ consciousness you put Christ consciousness energy into one of these doorknob entities okay it just <laughs> turns to dust because I've seen it done I've done it myself with other Christ before I became a Christ but now that the trip is for me I have to do it all myself because I'm Christ so I'm Christ within a Christ consciousness so I got the resources of Christ consciousness but I still don't know enough to use what I got because I'm still programmed from five years of asking Christ consciousness now I am a Christ I don't have to fucking ask I just ask within myself I just think it and do it I am Christ I don't even have to think about it I just do it and it gets done I don't even have to ask it's just a thought need help Right? That type of thing? It's a trip of the brain, man. I ain't, I ain't got around to it yet. That's why I keep having these dreams, these things. So, yeah. And the, that's what the gold tablet was. I asked, like, well, what's the gold tablet? He goes, he goes, it's Christ. How to deal with this problem. It's the writings of Christ and how to deal with the problem. And I thought it was some ancient Egyptian shit. Because gold, you know, they're all about that snorting it, fucking eating it, and painting it on their skin, and writing on it, and all that. I thought it was like ancient Egypt stuff, but no, it was, he said it was Christ, Christ's words, or way of taking care of it, through Christ's consciousness. I'm like, that's cool. And, yeah, so... Those uh, things came from the ancient past. Those four. Now there's four band members. Four nasties that are on them. They're, I don't know if they're owning them. I saw no ownership, but they're following them around. And whenever, whenever you get vulnerable, or Tom Maria gets vulnerable, lays down for a snooze, right on you. You talk to it. And uh, it'll take you over. But that hasn't happened yet to them since they came here, came to me in the dream, and I helped them out. They didn't even ask for me to help. I just knew it because they were at my house. Get it? It's like. It was like Tom had to go to the doctor to get his. To, to get this problem taken care of. I was the doctor to take care of his problem. I'm since, and since Christ consciousness, I, I, I need to learn. Tom's got the problem. I love his shit. I love his music. Well, what a better way to work it. And that's what Christ consciousness does. It's good to know that he's not part of the dark side though, isn't it? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh man, I love it. He's just having a good time on the earth playing. That's all he's doing. He's not a part of Satan. I don't think so. Not in their heart, anyway. They didn't sell out. Good stuff. Now, there's a million people out there. There's a million people out there that'll challenge me on that, but you know what? I don't care. I'm sure Tom O'Reilly ain't sacrificed no kids. Ain't no, had no, whatever, you know what I mean, pedophilia, eating the dead cannibal corpse shit. None of that, man. They're just a bunch of guys that like to party and fucking hard rock. Granted, okay, it's like Satanism, Satanism. Well, when they were, when they were, did their first albums, it was all cool to be Satanist. And then they're like, this sucks. Let's do something else. Then they went on to politics and stuff like that, right? Sung about history. You sing about it, but they're giving you... To me, when I hear songs like Slayer, I interpret it as a little bit of history being yelled out. 
They're just teaching you. If you think it's a attack on you from a bunch of Satanists, no way. No. Yeah, I like to have a chat with one of these one of these bands, not just Tom, but like all these band members. Find out what's really happened to them and why they did it. And I don't, I'm not judging. I'm like you're the one who's in the shit, not me. I don't care. I just like to know literally what happened to make you go that way. And I think another reason why I had the dream was because I was watching all that stuff on Call for Uprising YouTube channel. He's talking about all the artists in Hollywoods and and actors that do all this bad stuff to get indoctrinated and owned by the demons and then all the propaganda they put out pushing their agenda. Right? Stuff like that. I think I was watching that yesterday. I think that's why I had, I had a, the dream. Or Christ consciously gave me the dream. Because it was a recurring dream. And that was only like two times recurring. See, I'm trying to still figure it out mentally. And you can. You dance you can. Christ conscious goes, it's time to go help this guy. You, get, you just go help. So what's with them, what's with the kid come farting on me? What's with the... The invisible puncher. Are those examples for me to deal with? Right? Well, I couldn't deal with them because I couldn't see them. I couldn't do anything. Half because I'm in my body sleeping, having a dream. When I wake up and the kid's farting on me and I can see it, I can't go after him. So I just ask Christ, go get him. <laughs> I can't get him. I can't get him. If I was dead, if I was dead, that would have been another story. <laughs> And I'm not supposed to talk to him. I'm not supposed to deal with him. I'm not supposed to fight with him. I'm just supposed to take it. Christ said, yeah. He goes, now that you're a Christ, they come and abuse you whenever they can. And I'm making these videos and I'm putting them on YouTube. People watch it. And then their little sociopath heads of Satanism or whatever, mocking, whatever. Not just that. It could be anywhere. I, wherever I go, my innocence is talking to Christ and my family. So, other people see it, and they go, Oh, you think he's Jesus? We'll go fight on him. Ah, that type of thing. So, it's basically abuse. <clears throat> I, I didn't see it. it was one, I'm like, you little shit. <laughs> you know, kids having fun. But, the puncher guy, that was abuse. And he goes, yeah, Christ, that's what Christ attracts abuse. They love to abuse Christ. And he goes, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm like, great, great, great. And he goes, that's why you're learning quick, aren't you? And I'm like, yep. So stay tuned, boys and girls. There's a lot more coming, I'm guessing. Oh, man. And, uh, yeah, for that dream, I think I pretty much said everything I had to correct. Yeah. Pretty cool. There's one more thing I want to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. What it was about. Anyway, I gotta go. So I just thought I'd clear that up a little bit because I couldn't understand it in the moment too much. And it's pretty cool how that works. Eh? I'm still figuring it out. I'm still learning, and I'm gonna post it every time I learn something cool. So later, guys.